All right, so starting with this bad boy, I've got all of the chipped veneer parts filled in, sanded down, and then the top I just cleaned off and did a dark stain to, and now um, we're gonna start doing this top drawer front. I did seal the whole piece in shellac first because I know it's gonna be a bleeder and there's no point in wasting a whole coat of paint that I'm gonna have to shellac anyway. So that's why it's a little extra shiny, like through here and here that you can see because the whole thing's been shellacked. And that stuff is amazing. So shellacked, now we're gonna pop out this top drawer here. all the hardware in here waiting for painting. I haven't decided what color I'm going to go with the hardware, but it's truly lovely, like just stunning. So um, as I go, I'll figure out because I'm still not fully sure on the piece, like overall color, but we are going to do the decoupage on this top drawer because I do know that we're going to do the floral print that you guys have seen before. So let's get to it. Here's just a quick shot of me getting the top drawer finished. If you'd like to see the full thing, uh, there's a video before this one that you can see. If I remember, I'll link it down below. <laughs> I'm really bad at linking things, but there is a video on decoupaging a drawer for you. So this is going to be a boring paint job, just all white, so I'm going to let you guys go and bring you back when there's something fun to do. This was a little upsetting. I still had bleed through even after shellacking, so on the parts that just kind of came through, I must not have got a heavy enough layer, heavy enough layer so I'm just throwing it on again. All right, hopefully I got everything that I needed to with the shellac this time and we won't have any more bleed through, but we're going to go ahead with the second coat and see how it turns out. I did start off with a mist of water just because it helps everything glide more easily. Fun tip, if you get a little mess up on your drawer sides there where you don't want the paint, it just wipes right off. And if you can't get it off with your finger right after you've done it, you can just take a little cloth with some water on it and it will buff out with that. Now for sealing, I went with wax just because I enjoy the texture of it. The top I did seal with poly, but the body of the dresser gets less wear and tear. And I just think it's a nice finish to have that kind of matte look and then once it's all buffed in with the brush I do go over it with a cloth just to wipe everything back and it gives it kind of a little sheen too. Now that the piece has been sealed I'm putting in the hardware. I did end up spray painting it gold so it's very shiny and lovely so I'm just putting all those in getting the drawers back in and she's really coming together now so that's exciting. Then next up, we're going to do some fun things to the drawer sides because I just, I feel like they always need something. And generally it does a better job at selling my pieces. So here I'm just painting a gray that is complementary to the wallpaper on the front just to kind of tie everything in together. And then I'm doing a very clean line next to the white strip on the piece. And then after that, I can kind of just throw it on all over the rest of the drawer and I'm not terribly worried about it. I'm not worried about it because I can just take a damp cloth and go back and clean up any of my mistakes on it because the piece is already sealed. Alright, so gray is dry. Got my stencil picked out. And I'm going to just place it however you want it on here. It doesn't really matter because it's far enough back that we don't have to continue through. Um, so you just kind of figure out where you want the design, obviously. And then I always like to butt it up against this to give you some kind of stability while you're doing it. You could tape it down. I never do because, oh, it's just not that hard to hold it. Okay, so where I decided to put the pattern, there is a small section that I don't want to be stenciled in. So I'm just taking a little bit of tape to cover that up. And you can kind of do that as you're placing your stencil. Any parts that you don't want to show up on there, just throw a piece of tape over it and it saves you some time. 
So for this, I'm just using Rub and Buff. I find that it's a really easy medium to stencil with because it's so thin, nothing ever seeps under anywhere else, and it looks lovely because uh, it's shiny. Um, so I just put some on whatever. This is the lid to one of my paint cans. I've got a flat topped brush and I dab it in the main pile first and then I tap off the excess. And then when I first start, I tap into the stencil kind of all around and then I use my brush to swirl it, which kind of moves it and spreads it around. And again, it's such a thin medium that it doesn't go underneath the stencil when I swirl it around like that. So it's really, really an easy thing to do. And this also helps with the faded look that I'm going to do on the drawer since the stencil doesn't obviously follow the whole length of the drawer. I'm going to start it really strong at the front and then as I get to the back and I'm running out of product, I will go over the end of the stencil so that it looks like it's going from strong to light like an ombre effect down the back of the drawer so it doesn't look like an abrupt stop at the end of the drawer. It's just a nice subtle fade out, which is super cool, super easy, and it looks lovely when you open the drawers. finish up with all the rest of them. Just to kind of add in some more gray, I'm doing a bit of a glaze just in all the detail parts of the dresser. Just on anything that I see that's recessed. Just throw on a little glaze in there. I tried actually dripping it from the top all the way down and it would not run all the way down. So that was disappointing. But, I mean, I guess I can just do this. It's not difficult. And with that final step, she is finished. Here's a reminder of what she looked like before. Not something to write home about, but she is now. All lovely and pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for following along. I absolutely love how she turned out. I did end up putting drawer liners in because I just felt like the inside state of the drawers wasn't up to par with where I want them to be. But if you enjoyed this, if you learned something, please like, subscribe, share, all that jazz, and I will see you guys next time.